Buenos días mis amigos, soy The Grace and welcome back to another video of Final Fantasy Brave Exodus War The Visions. We got some news, this is, I know this video is a tad bit late, but uh, let's go ahead and go through this news and see what's happening. So we're having some maintenance and of course just thing it's going to be on October 22nd. And uh, so make sure you're not doing any background battles and things like that during this maintenance time. Um, and then we're going to be getting some new things. Alright, so the new thing is going to be the new UR Veritas of the Light, and then as well as UR Vision cards together in Eternity and in Halloween in the Starlight Sky and more. And so let's look at these thingies, majiggers. So first, let's go down to Veritas of the Light. Okay, so Veritas of the Light is going to be, um, of course, type element light. Um, she's going to be a gun user. We're not going to be able to use her a lot, especially because with Veritas, of course, you have to build her up over time. But let's see what she can do for us um, when she, whenever she comes out. So raises own area attack resist, um, piercing resist rate for three turns, lowers light resist of targets within range for three turns, and then deals large damage based on catcher's magic stat and chance to inflict poison for three turns and sequentially activates photosynthesis. Excuse my language. Anyway, so photosynthesis removes all the buffs from ally and removes blind, mobilize, and berserk. I know this is going to be like a, a damage ability that has a tad bit of support, but it would be pretty cool, um, especially against that blind, immobilize, and berserk. Um, because some people do have, I mean, Shrek has immobilize, uh, Sephiroth has Berserk, and so does Mont. And then Blind as well, just an extra thing. So it's okay. As for Angelic Halo, it's going to be her AoE buff for her allies and as well as herself. It says, it bestows a damage reduction effect for four turns that reduces, um, damage taken for the larger the area range on allies within area around self and bestows magic damage reduction for four turns and bestows rebase on self. Uh, allows unit to only recover, so yeah, so it's just the re-raise. And then it says, bestows debuff effect, lowers target missile attack resist for three turns, for four turns. Okay, and then activates before attacking. Okay, so we're supposed to add on to our attack, right? So she has a missile in peril whenever she hits someone, which is not too bad. Honestly though, my opinion on Veris of Light, she definitely, you know, not that very good until we'll be getting her um, lure bursts and dream awakening and all these things. But yeah, that should be should be fun. As for some new vision cards, we have uh, together in Eternity, and it's going to be for Exia's vision card, and it's going to be AGL up, magic attack versus piercing up, and then match H a max HP up, and then it's going to be for great sword, axe, staff, devout, and then glove, a couple main jobs. This is a really good vision card, especially if you have Exia. Um, really good for great sword, really good for um, glove as well. So if you have Exia, Sadly, definitely a good vision card to pull, but if you don't have any of them, this is definitely a skip um, for now. And you'll be able to pick it up later, of course, because it's not a, um, what is it called? It's not a limited vision card. As for the limited vision card, we have Halloween and the Starlight Sky UR. Um, this is cost 70, but in my opinion, this vision card is actually really strong. It's for the Red Sword Mage group, Spear, and Mace main jobs. And then physical damage reduction for wider area attack up. And then man eater up upon magic attack and then magic attack resist up and so this vision card is really really good um if you are a red sword red sword mage main a spear main or a mace or use any of these these jobs um the 24 percent physical or damage wide attack is going to be insanely super good and uh so i know i'm going to be pulling for this vision card and so expect a pulling video next week um i guess soon anyway because uh this is a super amazing vision card and i definitely want this for my red sword mage uh, peoples like Gilgamesh and uh, yeah should be really really good and then uh, let's go down here also yeah it's gonna have ability with it this is which of the sleeping city lowers area attack resist of targets within range for three turns deals large damage and then inflicts slow on target for three turns and then increases impotency against more targets um standard damage for three targets or more and so this would be a really good vision card I don't know like, yeah, usually it's just damage whenever you hit three or more targets. Um, but it'd be really cool if they do a thing where, like, if you hit two or three targets, like, the chance to inflict slow increases, then this would be a really OP ability. But uh, it should be, honestly, I think it's an amazing vision card. And let's go to continue with the more newsy newsy part. So we have Halloween 2024 Part 2 campaigns. And we're going to be giving, I guess, sorry, they're going to be giving us some burst chorus. It's pretty nice. Your Viz, of course, pretty just natural stuff. Charge for the VCs and Vizior. Some good old stuff. And then we're going to have a double up, drop, drop double up campaign. 
for JP, EXP, item drop, and level up campaign. So it's a really good time. Um, it's gonna be an okay time to level up your units. So if you have some Veritas units that are like, you know, you wanna spend your rainbow cubes on, this would be a good time to level them up. Um, of course, during the anniversary, it'd be like three times up and be a better time to level up, but not too bad. And then what else is gonna be happening? Just like the average stuff for like in the shop, you'd be able to buy um, steroids for the VCs. And then we have something really cool. We're gonna have a PVE event. It's called Festival of the Kill. Inflict massive overkill damage. And let's read and read what it says. Um, we don't care about that. Let's read this quest details. So it says Festival of the Killer features quests where players complete for high score based on total overkill damage. Achieved before the quest is cleared. There are two quests, each of which can be challenged any number of times. Overkill Banquet where you can select one of the eight elements to receive a boost of two overkill damage dealt, and then Water and Magic Banquet, where specific units will be able to easily exploit enemies' weaknesses. So ready your strongest units and equipment, use your abilities effectively, and inflict massive overkill damage. Okay, so there's gonna be two quests, like it said. Um, you're gonna have the main, like the really, like, you know, the one they wanna focus on, is gonna be the Water and Magic Banquet, because there's gonna be an element fire and the weakness to magic. As for the other one, you get to pick the element so like if you were a light main then you want to fight the dark element to fight and the cool thing about this one is as you do like if you do better you'll be able to be higher rank you can win some vizier which is really cool and as well as some titles as for the first overall overkill you can get overkill master and then top 10 overkill expert top 100 overkill adept so pretty cool titles definitely a chance like if you work really hard for this you probably get top 100 easily or if you're a whale and you're like you know the best and overkill expert and overkill masters be pretty much you know you're the way you're to go but if you're like me you probably should not get anything and then just kind of focus on getting some viz um so number one we'll get six thousand and number two through ten we'll get four thousand viz so there's definitely a lot of this to grab uh, so congratulations for anyone who's going to do this hardcore and get some viz i'll probably just be in like you know the 1000 5000 range get 300 viz and some vision spheres and then, um, yeah, just of course, because of the upgrades for the Maximilian Glove and Armor, I guess the Solomon Glove and Maximilian Armor, um, this is going to be just adding the quest to be able to evolve those things. And then it just goes in talking about legendary reliquaries and how you can do those things. So not too bad at all. And the very last thing are just classifications of jobs that are new jobs that are coming out. So yeah, so it looks like this patch is going to be some pretty good stuff to do if you're gonna have that PvE event and as well as some legendary reliquaries to do to get that maximum under plus one. Um, but honestly, this looks like a pretty good patch. Right now, I'm kind of low on biz, but I like whenever the VC comes out, I'll be pulling on it. And then after that sitting biz, um, I'm really excited for Nicole um, in FFBE. And so, yeah, I'll be saying for that as well. But I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm trying to reach 100 subs, so help me do that. I love you guys. Stay powerful and bye. Hit the subscribe, it's gonna be so cool